Chipotle Beef Caldereta. Enjoy everyone! Three tablespoons cooking oil. Adding two small tomatoes and one small yellow onion that I diced. Three minutes into cooking your onions and your tomatoes, you wanna add six cloves garlic, mince. About 30 seconds into adding your um, garlic, add your beef cut into big pieces. Adding two cups of chicken broth or beef broth if you have. One small can of tomato sauce. Adding your oyster sauce. Two tablespoons. Now let's add, let's add three tablespoons of soy sauce here. Let's add a few pieces of bay leaves, dried bay leaves. I'm now adding liver spread. For now I'm adding two tablespoons of liver spread. A pinch of ground pepper. Give it a quick stir. Now that it's boiling, that was about after three minutes. Um, cover, let's reduce the heat to medium and we will cook it until the beef slices are tender. Okay, let's uncover it. Depending on the cut of meat that you are using, mine took about 45 minutes before it gets soft or tender. This is the time that I am adding my chipotle peppers, okay? Guys, you have to be very careful. This is spice, this is spicy. I just showed it to you earlier. I'm not actually using the actual peppers, everyone. I'm just using the sauce. One tablespoon of the sauce is good enough for me. It's spicy, but it will take your beef caldereta into another dimension. Taste it. If you don't think um, it's spicy enough for you, you can slowly add more. But for me, one tablespoon of the um, sauce only, I did not use the actual peppers, um, is good enough. Adding my bell pepper, cut into thin strips. And just before I turn the uh, heat off, I'm adding one cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Turn the stove off, the heat off. Give it a quick stir. Allow the cheese to melt into your chipotle beef caldereta. And where's the rice? Enjoy everyone. Okay, while watching my videos right now, if you notice, right below on the right side, there is this uh, letter RB, my initial. If you click that, everyone, you will be automatically notified every time we upload cooking videos. So if you don't want to miss out on any of the cooking videos we normally upload every week, please do so. Also, just want to let you know, I do have an Instagram account under Chef, Chef Ron Bilaro, where I normally post uh, dish pictures and sometimes personal photos of mine so if you want to check out what I've been doing lately well please follow me I would love to see you there all right thank you everyone and I'll see you again bye